Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we continue our course, Flutter from Scratch to Employment, and we'll be discussing the for loop in Dart. My name is Rauf, and we are continuing to learn programming together. Loops are an essential part of any programming language. They allow us to repeat certain actions multiple times. Today, we'll look at the for loop, which is one of the most popular and frequently used loops. The for loop in Dart has the following syntax. Let's examine each part individually. Initialization. Here, we set the initial values of variables. This block is executed only once before the loop starts. Condition. This is a logical expression checked before each iteration of the loop. If the condition is true, the loop continues. If false, the loop stops. Increment. This block of code is executed after each iteration of the loop. It typically increments or decrements the loop counter. Let's look at a simple example. Suppose we want to print numbers from 1 to 5. We'll use a for loop for this. In this case, we initialize a new variable, aa, and set it to 1. Next, we write the condition, stating that I must be less than or equal to 5. This means the loop will continue as long as I satisfies this condition, and once I becomes greater than 5, the loop will stop. In the increment block, we wrote i++. Plus plus. Two plus signs may seem new to you, but it is equivalent to adding one and is called an increment. The opposite operation is called decrement. This shorthand notation is commonly used for simplicity. Inside the loop body, we print the variable, which changes after each iteration due to the increment. Running this code, we will see the numbers 1 to 5 on the screen. Now, I suggest you complete a task involving loops. I'll say in advance that it's not easy, so don't worry if you can't solve it. Suppose we need to find the sum of all even numbers from 1 to 100. How would we do this using a for loop? Pause the video and try to solve this task. Solution. First, we need to create a variable to store the sum. Next, we create a for loop where we initialize a variable and set it to 1. In the condition, we specify that it should be less than or equal to 100 so that it runs 100 times. Don't forget the increment to increase the variable's value by 1 after each iteration. Inside the loop body, we need another check since we only need even numbers. This check verifies the remainder of the division, and if it equals 0, the number is even. Inside this check, we add i variable to the sum variable. Finally, after the loop completes, we print the value of the variable that holds the sum. Running the code, we will see that our code works successfully. I showed you one way to solve this problem, but it's not the only one. If you manage to solve this problem using a different method with for, well done. That's how the for loop works in Dart. It's a powerful tool that allows us to automate repetitive tasks. In the next lesson, we'll look at other types of loops and delve deeper into their use. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and click the bell icon so you don't miss new lessons. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.